Good morning! Happy, happy Lord's Day! I hope you're excited for worship today. Now let us pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you again for allowing us to come together as church to worship you. Lord, we are still going virtual online, but Father, I pray that we would meet at church soon and have a uh, fellowship together. Lord, please be with Sarah c h o n d o s a n i as she speaks of your word. Uh, give her wisdom, use her as her mouthpiece. And I pray for all the families of Yongseng and all the people around the globe. Would you empower them through your spirit and give them wisdom during this um, hectic time. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now it's time for worship. So I want you guys to stand up, warm up a little bit. Okay, ready? Stand up! Praise the Lord!
morning, boys and girls. As I pray, please pray with me. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Uh, even though we have pandemic, we can't be together at church. We are grateful that you have given us great, wonderful parents and a this beautiful place where we could worship you, Lord. Even though we're together with our family for a long period of time, sometimes we listen to our parents and sometimes we do read our Bible. But most of the time, Lord, we forget to be nice to our family. Uh, we might have hurt them by using mean words, or we might have hurt our parents by not doing our chores, Lord. Oh, Lord, please forgive us. And, oh, Lord, I also pray that um, even though we are not together, we just ask that through this um, YouTube um, services, we are grateful that we have um, worship service, Lord. And, oh, Lord, as um, Tandesanya prepares your words every week, help us to open our hearts and our minds so that we'll be able to listen to her through her words, Lord, through your um, preparation, Lord. We know that you have wrapped her out in Holy Spirit, and we know that you have given her a lot of meditations, time, so that she'll be able to give us your sermon, Lord. And, oh, Lord, as we... Also, are uh, grateful that we have started our Zoom Bible study, Lord. Every Sunday, we are trying to have a Zoom meeting with our teachers, help us to open our hearts to prayer and help us to focus, Lord. Even though we cannot be together, help us do our best. Oh, Lord, this is the beginning of our worship. Please be with us, be with us till the end. And we thank you again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to the judge and the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Good morning, everybody. It's so good to see you this morning. Let's get ready to re receive God's word. If you have your Bible with you, today we're going to look into the last chapter of Book of Exodus. Exodus. All right? So if you have your book with you. We're going to open to book of Exodus chapter 40. We're going to read two verses from the beginning and we're going to read a verse towards the end. Okay. Chapter 40 verse 1 and 2. The Lord spoke to Moses saying on the first day of the first month you shall erect the tabernacle of the tent of meeting. And then we're going to go to the bottom. Okay. Verse 34 through 38. Then the cloud covered the tent of meeting, and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. Moses could not enter the tent of meeting because the cloud has settled upon it, and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. In all the travel of the Israelites, Whenever the cloud lifted from above the tabernacle, they would set out. But if the cloud did not lift, they did not set out until the day it lifted. So the cloud of the Lord was over the tabernacle by day, and by fire was in the cloud by night, in the sight of all the house of Israel during all their travels. And God's people said, Amen. All right, let us open with a prayer. Father, we thank you for giving us the, your word. As we open to your word, may you just uh, calm our hearts and help us to obey uh, your word as we listen. Please be with me as I speak your word, that you will be with me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Did you all say amen? Did you pray from your heart? Well, today we get to continue the journey of book of Exodus. As Moses have received the Ten Commandments, 
he has come down with the tablet stones, but what he saw was not acceptable in the eyes of God. Remember when Moses went up to the mountain uh, to receive God's command? When he came down, Aaron and his Israelites built this golden calf and started wanted to worship the calf. So Moses just broke the stone half, the ta uh, tablet in half, and he went and and destroyed the the um the golden calf, and he went back to meet with God, and God gave Moses a special mission again to deliver the commandments but to build a tabernacle a tabernacle is a um it's a tent it's a tent for the lord with god's dwelling place and god said moses i'm going to ask you i'm going to command you to tell your people to build this tabernacle for me so that they could come and worship me so God commanded Moses to go and tell the Israelites to contribute to the Lord, to donate to the Lord, to give to the Lord. And you know what? Many Israelites who had generous heart, they brought things to help build God's dwelling place, tabernacle. They brought gold, jewels, oil for the lamps, fabrics for the priest, and much more. And people came just excited to say, wow, we are going to build or make a special tent for God where we could meet God, meet with God. Well, you know what, during that time, they couldn't see God. They couldn't actually commune, really commune, commune with God. Um, so they were longing to have something. And so God instructed Israelites to build this tabernacle. And so as the contribution was coming and, and many people were giving and, and they brought many um, things that were very precious. And God had Moses appoint these two craftsmen named Bezalel and Oholib. And these people with special skill God has granted them and special intelligence to uh, um, construct this special tent for God. And they worked earnestly. They worked um, happily. They were excited and they used their skills to join to do what God had required. Well, you know, as people were bringing all these things, materials, the wood, the jewels, the stones, fabrics, people keep bringing more. I want to give to God. And it was at a point where Moses had to say, stop. Okay, I think we have enough. Well, God's plan was already there. He already had a great plan to build this tabernacle in certain ways, with certain measurements, certain materials. He planned <clears throat> to have this uh, tabernacle in a large courtyard. Remember, this is a desert. You have to remember that the desert is just a, just a, 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 just a flat land, I mean, with sand. Um, and they had to build this big um, courtyard 20 posts down the long side and a 10 down the shorter side. And they are made of wood with a bronze base with silver hooks on the top. And finely twisted linen curtains that would made to go between the posts. God have specific details. If you read on chap towards the end of Exodus, God gives specific details. He doesn't just go, okay, go build a tent. No. Just like your teachers don't go, okay, go do your writing. Your teachers give you specific instruction. Today, we're going to write about narratives. And they'll give you like step by step and brainstorming, pre-writing, and 
Just like that, God instructed us right here how we ought to live. Here out in the courtyard, the outside, let's see what they have. Outside in the courtyard, Moses put a bronze altar, the altar burnt offering. And this altar is a square altar made of acacia wood, but it's covered with bronze, um, bronze so that it doesn't burn. And this is where um, the priests and people would bring the sacri sacrifices and they will, um, you know, kill the, the animal that's to be sacrificed and the blood will be sprinkled on the, on the altar. And the, the, it will burn. And it's a, that's why it's called the burn offering. It goes, the smoke will go up and God will be um, receiving that offering. And that was a way for God to forgive their sins. That was a way the Israelites to say, I'm sorry, God, and I want to honor you and respect you, and I'm, please forgive me for my sins, and that shed blood of the animal sacrifice will cleanse out their sins. There is a basin, bronze basin, that was there, um, and that was for the, the priest after the burnt offering, as they are bringing it to the holy place, they have to wash up. And they had to make sure they're clean. Inside the courtyard was the tabernacle. It's called the holy place. And there is a tabernacle that was 45 feet by 15 feet. And a strong wood frame was built. And four covers to go over it were made. And first, there was a fine embroidered linen then a layer of goat hair. Over that was a layer of ram skin dyed red. On top was covered of the bluish animal skin. And inside that was uh, two um, compartments. Like one section was called the holy place and the other side, small place, was the holy, the most holy place called the holy of holies. And this tabernacle was to be... Um, it's where it's covered with thick veil with fine linen and has some things that only the priest be allowed to enter this place. In the holy place with the larger section is where Moses set up a tabernacle of showbread. Um, it's, it's made of acacia wood but with covered with gold and they would put um, plates and bread um, and 12 loaves of bread to represent 12 tribes of Israel. There was an altar of incense where they would um, put incense and uh, it would just fill the room with a sweet aroma so that God would be pleased. There was a lamp sand um, with special oil so that the priests could see. But when the priests go in to the most holy place, which is called Holy of Holies, there was the Ark of Covenant with the two stones tablet where Moses received God's command, Ten Commandments were placed in. And it was Holy of Holies. So the only the high priests were able to go in. And for the priest, they were also given a special outfit. Um, Aaron being the first high priest and his sons made the priest. And they had um, special clothes that was garment that was made uh, with white linens. And special garment was made for high priest Aaron with the blue sleeveless tunics uh, over the bells of pure gold and sewn around the hems of woven pomegranate between them. There were bells on the bottom of um, his uh, garments. Uh, and and with the special um, turban going around and had a pure gold uh, engraved that says holiness to the Lord. Now they wore a special rope and they would have a special uh, bells 
because only the high, high priest to go in to offer sacrifice and if somehow they had they were not their sins were not cleansed or God was not pleased they were struck with death and this ark of the covenant were only carried uh, by the priests and had to be carried on their shoulders for them to travel so they had a special pole well when everything was ready the tabernacle was built in the middle of the camp and then three tribe on every side and the furnitures were on positions and all these details and um and, and rules and but yet you know what when everything was finished um, they gave offerings and Aaron presented to God and God filled the tabernacle with clouds well, what can we learn from this, boys and girls? Oh, this is too much. Well, what's so great about tabernacles? But boys and girls, what we have to remember coming to the New Testament era that we are in. In the Old Testament, that's how they worship God. They had to go through certain proper steps. But because of Jesus, he appeared to us as a high priest. And he entered the Holy of Holies for us and shed his own blood being that sacrificial lamb to give us that pure heart the cleansed heart and jesus being the mediator now that we are able to receive this promise of eternal inheritance boys and girls god wants to meet with you just like in the verse that we just read God commands us to meet every week God wants to show us the glory of his presence as we meet him every week of course we know God is everywhere but on our Sunday worship when we come we are obeying god's law god's commands and we need to come like the hearts that the israelites had with with the eagerness and wanting to meet god and 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 giving him the best of best but most of all coming and trembling with fear of god fear of god is never about being scared of God but understanding that we just honor and respect him so much that we are so thankful that we are able to have this relationship through our Lord Jesus that gave us the way for us to connect with God straight boys and girls I hope and pray that this Jesus is also uh, someone you trusted and you receive and if you haven't i pray that it is god who gave us a way for us to be with him in the holy ground in the holy of holies and it, would you trust jesus as your personal personal savior and that you will walk in the path that jesus walked Boys and girls, and I pray that all of us will meet one day in heaven and be able to celebrate in, in, in the glory of God. I pray that you will have a great week as you live your week again in school. Please be strong and follow the footstep of Jesus. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to worship you. Many times we struggle trying to figure things out, yet, Lord, we need your wisdom. We need your um, love and your guidance each day of our lives. Help us to have that eagerness and enthusiasm and just desire to serve you fearfully and worship you fearfully, Father. And we thank you so much for our Lord Jesus. Please keep us safe through this time but that we will never forget the price that jesus paid on that cross so that we could be with you father we thank you so much for your love in jesus name we pray amen let's close with the lord's prayer 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the thine is the kingdom, power, and the glory forever. Amen. Great job, boys and girls. I hope you have a victorious week. We'll see you next week. Wow, what a great worship. Did you have fun? Did you have a great time? That's good. Right now, it's announcement time. Woo! So first, on Wednesday, you know the thing, right? On Wednesday primary, we have Bible study, right? At what time? At 4 p.m. And JM, also, you're going to have Bible time on Wednesday. So, the time is... 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Don't don't forget you have once you have Wednesday Bible study. Okay. Second, on Sunday today you also have Bible study with your teachers, right? So primary, it's what time? What time? What time? It's 10 a.m. 10. Okay. And J a.m. Don't forget you also have Bible study on Sunday today. So it's 11 a.m. 11. Don't forget to join the Bible study. We are, we are going to have great, great, great time with your teachers. Okay, be still. Have a faithful week. I, I will see you next week, next Sunday. Bye-bye.